Hello everyone, it's Deli here. Welcome to another part of Let's Build a House. <laughs> Let's build a modded house, whatever it is, whatever the title has ended up being. Welcome back. I have been pre-recording all of these parts because I am away, but I feel like it's important for us to have our bonding time, even though I might not be where I usually am. So hello, I hope you're doing really well. And let me know in the comments down below if you are having a good week and a good day, because by now I'm going to miss you guys a lot. All right, well, without further ado, let's jump into it, get cozy, get a cuppa, get hydrated, and let's just play some Sims. So here is our lovely house. I think it is quite nice, our little modern abode. It's actually not that little, but it's not like a massive house either. It's just spacious, I think, and I think it's a good family home for sure. But anyway, in the last part, if you haven't watched it already, I'll just fill you guys in. We made this kitchen with these shells with all of these cups on them. The Sims are probably going to remove all the cups and bowls, but it looks pretty for this building purpose. <laughs> anyway, I'm curious to see what happens to all of that. And then over here, we have the dining area and we also have the lounge room. And I added a couple of extra things here and there just to make it look a little bit more colorful and lived in. And I've also gone ahead and furnished our bathrooms too just because bathrooms are a little bit boring in my opinion to watch so I thought I'd quickly do that off camera but yeah we're up to the next bit I'm thinking should we work over here and do like a study area or do we want to go upstairs you know what let's go straight to the master bedroom I was thinking the mezzanine level upstairs which we'll get to that's going to be the kids room but we'll start with the parentals room and I put in this yellow curtain because I just I really want to use some yellow colors. I don't know. I'm just, I often go through like color phases where some weeks I'll like greens and then the next week I like yellows. And I don't know if you guys go through those phases too, but sometimes you just feel like certain colors and this is just poking through there. So I'm going to pop that through there. Okay, well, this one does kind of tie into the curtain because it's got the yellow cushions. I find this orange there a little bit annoying. Like, I wish it was all just timber. I think it would be a much nicer furniture item, but that's okay. We'll work with it. This little side table also came with a free game update not that long ago. Super nice, these little tables. And I'm, I actually thought that was such a good game update. Like, we got these we got some really nice shelves we got um what else did we get oh the white shelf of course but we got like some really nice bookshelves which we might use in this build it's just like a really nice all-around update and I, I commend the updates that we've been getting i mean i'm excited for new game packs like hopefully right now i'm in the us i'm going to be filming the new game pack or posting about it so be sure to follow my instagram and twitter so i can keep you updated with any news and subscribe if you haven't already because i'm going to be posting videos very soon about what what what's coming to the sims 4 because i want to share it with you guys as soon as possible as soon as i know you guys should know okay what about these lamps do we want to oh gosh we could do i mean it's looking very yellow it's kind of looking a little sickly. I'm not gonna lie. I think we've gone a little bit too far with the yellow. We could grab some of this wood from over here to soften the room a little bit and make it look a little bit more natural. I actually think that's quite a nice idea. And then in terms of the bed lamps, we're just gonna have to find something kind of neutral, but that goes. I mean, the black base grounds the room a little bit. You know, the darkest color is gonna ground the room. And because we have a black door, two black doors actually, it does help us tie it in a little bit to those and also to the gray uh, carpet that we also have. We've got to find a painting. Simonati. What did they say? Simon Simonati. Simonati. <laughs> I never noticed the name of that poster. One day I'd love to just read a whole heap of the descriptions on all of these items because the Sims team, they put so much effort into the descriptions and I feel like I never appreciate them. Like I never read them. And, and it, that's kind of sad. I feel like we should be more appreciative of, of the effort that's put in. <laughs> but I guess, I mean, we're busy playing. So maybe it's just now and then you just kind of have a look at the description and have a little giggle. I've sized these right down because I actually think they look really nice as small art pieces next to each other as well. I think they look pretty cute. Uh, they a little bit uneven. Okay, let me just, I mean, we're not going to get them completely even, but that looks a little bit better to me. Oh my gosh, now I'm becoming obsessive with these. Like, I want it to be perfect. It's really strange. I'm just really focused on measurements today, which usually I really don't care about. 
Oh, we need a we need some kind of uh, what's it called? Wardrobe, wardrobe type of thing. I don't think we can fit in the big ones. You know what? We can. Pro oh, I don't actually know what kind of wardrobe we can fit in. This is not a whole lot of space that we've got going on here. We might actually have to go with something a little smaller. The clothing rack in the corner is quite cool, actually. I do like that. Honestly, I don't think I've ever used this because I feel like it has the most awkward colorways because it's got that. I think this is meant to be glass, but it just looks like it's kind of blue unless you look at it close and notice that it's reflective. It's just an awkward, awkward color scheme, I think. I also just realized it's from base game, so that's probably why. What about this one? This is so... We're doing so many, like, get famous items from the mid-century aesthetic in that pack but they're, they're pretty cute i think i'll go for this one though just because it's trusty old favorite always goes with every room that you put it in and i love this custom content mirror how it's just leaning against the wall it's so nice it's actually just like the mirror i have behind my head right now um but i might avoid putting in the custom content for you guys and oh actually we do have this mirror that leans i love this mirror I wonder if they made that custom content mirror from this one, because I've never made custom content myself, but I hear that if you have items that kind of look like the piece you're trying to make, it could be a lot easier. <gasps> look, I just saw the nice fading in this one. Oh, and it goes with the peach Duna cover. Yes, I do like that a lot. I think it would be nice to have a little bookshelf in here as well. And if we're doing a bookshelf, it's probably going to have to be on this wall over here. And the one I'm thinking of is the base game update one that I was just telling you guys about before. One reason why I really like this one is because it has a lot of slots in it. So you can place a lot of items on it. That's something they've been improving. And oh, look, it's another peachy ready color there, which is quite cute. So basically compared to the base game ones, it's a lot easier to place certain items on here to kind of decorate it and make it look a little bit more realistic. I love these little baskets. I do have the show hidden objects cheat on. So if you're wondering, how does she have all of those items showing? That is why, because show hidden objects is on. We can put a little cat here because everyone likes cats. I'm actually not that into cats. Don't hate me if you're a cat lover. I'm so sorry to disappoint you. I'm more of a, I'm more of a chow chow kind of girl, but my friends are obsessed with their cats. Like if we go out for coffee, they just talk about their cats nonstop and all of the funny things that their cats have done. And the friends that are also there who don't have cats, we're just like, okay, Ben. <laughs> I think it's so entertaining, but I guess that's how I am about chow chow dogs. I have a little obsession with chow chow dogs. So yeah, I guess we all have our thing that we're kind of obsessed with that not everyone will understand. But I think that's one of the most fascinating things about people. You know, we all have things that we like and dislike and we're all so different. It's really amazing when you actually get to know people and just think, wow, you're like a really different person compared to me. And I think a lot of the time people are scared of people who are different to them. Like sometimes it freaks people out. And I think that's where a lot of hate starts from, you know, or like kids make fun of other kids because they're different, you know, like they're trying to make sense of it and feel like, no, they can't be like that because I'm not like that. And I really hope that's something that humans do less of in the future. Like hopefully we will evolve and kind of get rid of that mentality because it's it's so common and obviously it causes like some of the world's biggest problems. I mean, I don't mean to get political right now, but it's it's pretty crazy that that's how our brain reacts to people that are different to us. Or well, they can react in that way. We don't always react in that way. It depends. Oh, I love these little plants. What? did these plants come from? Oh, these were from the movie stuff pack. I think the movie stuff pack was a really interesting pack because it really introduced some aesthetics that we've never had in the game. And we haven't really seen those aesthetics since, you know, it's just quite unique. Also, this reminds me of Christmas. Don't you reckon? Well, not really. That one reminds me of Christmas. This one reminds me of ice cream. This one rem reminds me of, I don't know. And this one is like, probably what I'd have it in my room. Although, no, I wouldn't. I'd have this one. I like that one. Okay. I'm glad that I've explained to everyone what I would have if I had that item IRL. 
If you guys could have one item in The Sims 4 IRL, like in real life, what would that item be? It's a tough choice. I feel like I would like to have the talking toilet because I am lactose intolerant. Your girl has spent a lot of time in the bathroom and you know, maybe it would be nice now and then to have a conversation with someone. Although I've never understood how people spend so much time in the bathroom. Like I don't understand how some of you guys have like books in your toilet. We've never had that at my house. Like, I don't know, my family just must be a little bit more quickly in and out of there. Um, I think I would say I've gone to the toilet a lot, but I haven't spent a lot of time on the toilet. I think I got that that statement wrong earlier so i'll just retract that statement okay well this is looking nice uh, i am wondering if this room is still a little bit gray like should we maybe think about putting a yellow wall in here it's pretty extra but you know what i'm gonna do it i'm gonna do it just because it's a little bit different to what i usually do and the other thing i was thinking was should we have white floorboards in here oh good grief they're on an angle because this is a diagonal room I mean, we can just, wait, is it F5 that changes? Wait, can we actually rotate this? Oh no, I can't remember if I can rotate this on a quarter tile. I don't think I can. Let me know in the comments down below because that does confuse me a little bit. This will be straight across. Uh, oh, that's actually quite cute. Hmm, do we like you? Do we like you? Do we want to keep you? Or do we just want to go back to this? You know what? I'm just going to go back to the rugs. I did like it, but I think it was just a little bit too experimental. Okay, so this area is what I'm a little bit lost on. Because we do have this lounge area. We could make this into a secondary lounge area slash study. And if we did that, I'd probably want to move these windows to either side like this. And put a fireplace here. And maybe this can be a little bit more of a formal seating area slash study area. I think that could kind of work. I do love that fireplace, but this one's a little, a little bit more meaty, you know? It's kind of like the one you'd want to sit next to if you were really cold during winter, whereas the other one looks a little bit like a little more fake maybe. And do we want a second TV here? I feel like we don't need two TVs. And if you guys want to add another TV, if you download this, well, it's easy to do so. <laughs> You're not going to struggle to do that. Oh, I love these paintings. Yeah, the, the theme of this build is definitely a lot of Get Famous pieces. This was Get Famous, right? Wait, was it? Yeah, this is Get Famous. I just think the mid-century vibe in this pack was really, really good. Oh, I'm so keen to see the new stuff that's coming. Oh, I kind of like that painting and it does involve some of the blues that we've had. That definitely involves the blues that we had, although that's really pretty too. <gasps> the naked lady, look you guys, it's me. She thick, she thick, she beautiful. Okay, let's um get a desk. I'm just gonna quickly check out what kind of floor plan we could have over here. Over in this area, I was actually thinking this would be the desk area. So I think I'm gonna keep it pretty plain and simple. Oh, we could do a bit of an L-shaped desk. I can't remember, but a while ago when we were looking at some builds, I did see that someone, I can't remember who I'm copying, but someone was piecing these two tables together. So the desk with this dining table. And I just thought it was a really, really nice idea because they're essentially just the same piece of furniture, kind of reskinned maybe. I don't know how you say it, but they're obviously the same asset, I think. So maybe we'll put a computer over here. Do we want a laptop? Do we want a big boy computer? Do we want like a simple computer? Let's go with this white computer, seeming as though we've gone with this white theme and really taken it to the next level. I mean, just look at our kitchen. There's so much white going on here. I'm gonna put this clear chair because I used to sit on a clear chair and it brings back memories of when I first started being a YouTuber. <gasps> this, oh, maybe we can have a shelf that connects to this desk too. Wow, we're really going for this full on connected shelf unit. And I feel like we're getting a little bit too carried away with it. It's, it's too much for me to handle. Well, we could have like a twin desk situation going on here where you kind of have a desk going like that. That's kind of cool. What do you what do you guys think of this? I think that looks really nice. And I think instead of having the same light repeated, I would like to have 
a little bit of a difference so this light kind of goes with that light because the base is the same but it mixes up it mixes it up a little bit gosh struggling to get the words out today oh we could have this really over the top bunch of flowers because it's pretty but i feel like ooh, if we size this down it's like the perfect desk plant oh my gosh it's so cute i like that a lot and I think we need to get those new pencils that were in the base game update as well. Yes, there's my little pretties, which yeah, we'll keep it with a nice warm wood. Okay, so we've got pencils, we got the chairs. Over here on this wall, maybe we'd have some kind of cork board or something. Where is the cork board kept? I think it's in activities and skills and miscellaneous. There it is, I was right. We can pop a couple of those across. And then hopefully if we Google postcard, postcard, postcard corkboard. Ah, here we go. This is in, I believe, by debug mode. We can get a few of these. This is from our favorite pack, my first pet stuff. There we go. So at least we have a few things on the wall. Can we put a feather on there? <gasps> Ooh, no, but we can put the feathers over here. I've never collected any feathers in The Sims 4. I don't know what it was, but I completely missed the memo for that part of the cats and dogs pack. Did you guys, have you guys ever collected feathers? I mean, they're so cute, but yeah, never, never really got into that. Just put my Sims trophy here just cause they're beautiful and I love them. <gasps> oh, I love these. I wish I didn't have the base on them though. Like, oh, I do love, I love crystal things. I feel like when I move to my new house in a couple of weeks, cause I'm moving house, I feel like I would love to get some crystals, you know, for some good energy vibes. I just really want to be feng shui, you know? Feng shui would be very interesting to study in interior design. My sister actually studied feng shui, so she knows a little bit about it, but it's very interesting. You know what, I do love this shelf, but I really dislike the legs on this shelf. I wish they were just straight legs because it looks like a bug's legs. Like it looks like a little robot that's about to waddle forwards. Also, what are, what are you meant to put in the center of this? Like, does anything sit there? Okay, we have a few statues that will go up there. We could have a bowling trophy because it is kind of fitting with the mid-century vibe perhaps. We definitely need some kind of sculpture fitting there because it does need to fill up that big gap. We could have some trophies. Maybe this person was in like a top sitcom TV show back in the day. Ooh, oh no. Maybe we can put like this big pot thing up here. I mean, it's a little oversized, but if we use the bracket keys, we can size it down. It does look a little bit odd though. I honestly don't know what this shelf is made for. A plant? I feel like... I mean, we have so many plants in this house already. I feel sorry for whoever's like watering them all. That's actually one thing that I am so bad at, watering the plants. Oh, I like kill plants. Never ever give me a plant unless it's one of those plants that's really easy to take care of. And I mean, really, really easy to take care of because there is no way that many things are gonna live under my care. It is a sad fact, but a true fact. You know what? I'm going to be honest with you guys. I really dislike that shelf. I just can't deal with the legs on it. It's, it's just not for me. I'm sorry to disappoint you guys, but it's got to go. This one's this one here is much better. If you're wondering, I believe this is a seasons shelf. Okay, this person really likes dogs and cats. They're just really into them, you know? I just really like them. Okay, that that that's a pretty good looking shelf. Some lemons on the shelf because you know, we'll put some oranges there because, you know, everybody loves a sneaky orange now and then. What I would love right now is like a rounded coffee table that would sit very nicely here. I mean, I guess this one, this one works quite well. We can just go with this wooden one and then, a, then have a couple of plain chairs, like, I really like this chair. This chair was from the bowling pack and I've got to say the bowling stuff pack has quite a few great items with the mid-century kind of vibe, but it's such a random pack. Like I don't think I've really ever used the bowling alley. Should maybe take my Sims bowling more cause it, you know, it's a nice idea, but 
it just doesn't get used that much. I've seen bowling alleys in a lot of mansions though, and, I'm, and it always reminds me to utilize it more. It's kind of strange to have a rug on carpet, isn't it? Do you guys put rugs on carpets? Is that like a thing that you guys do? Because I don't think I would ever do that, but I do it in The Sims. Okay, we've got this nice little seating area. You could also use this area for whichever skill building items you see fit, I suppose, depending on your family that you want to put in here. Like if I had a family who needed to work on, you know, their logic, I might replace that area with a nice little chess table. Maybe in this corner we could do a few skill building items. Possibly we could do an art area, although I don't know about an easel on the carpet. So maybe we'll do like a little arrangement of guitars over here. They're a little bit musical, this family perhaps. And we'll put a little violin in there as well. Not a huge fan of that color of violin though. We might do the white one. Okay, that's quite cute. I almost feel like we could have a light over here as well. So I'll pop that there. A little cheeky wall art here that blends in seamlessly with that beautiful wall that we have. And uh, oh, we don't want a double light. That's a, a little a little much. You know, I think that room's pretty much done. We've got our little desk area. I think that's actually a really cute room. Oh, and I just realized we need blinds for the windows because we have been successful with putting blinds almost on every window except for in the bathroom. Oh, are we gonna be able to do this? Please, sometimes it's a little bit harder on diagonal walls, but yes, it's working in our favor today. Ooh, wow, this is cute. Oh, I'm just thinky dinking. Do we wanna have a stone wall across there? Cause this is the wall that the fireplace sits on. And I feel like a fireplace placed in front of stones really. Is really, really nice. Kind of looks better in the darker stone. I mean, do we want the fireplace to kind of match it as well? Or are we just, is it getting a little bit too dark? It, it seems a little stark though, if it's just the white. And this is, oh, that's actually got some blue tones in it, which ties in with the couch and the walls. So maybe we'll just go with that and call it a day. Woohoo! Well, that's good. We've made progress. We've done the parents' room and also this living room. And in the next part, we've just got to do the kids' bedroom, which is upstairs up here. We'll do a kids' bedroom and we'll probably do a couple of things out here in the yard. And then I think, I think we've almost finished our house build. So, yay! Winning! As always, you guys, thank you so much for your feedback. And um, yeah, give this video a like if you enjoyed it, of course. Subscribe if you haven't already. You know the drill. I probably don't need to tell you. And yeah, I hope you guys are having a really awesome week. I miss you and I can't wait to be back soon. And also live streaming. For those of you guys who have come to my live streams, uh, I'm excited to be back live streaming soon. So love you guys. Hope you're having a lovely morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever you are in the world. And I can't wait to speak to y'all soon. So, so.